Ooh, what a tune that was. Welcome to the new podcast set. It's Ow. Beyond the Pine, episode 49. Wow. It's been a long time coming that we don't actually just sit at a regular ass table in a regular ass office and do regular ass things. Now that we have a big podcast set, we can have real conversations. We can real treat guests. this professionally. We have real guests right now. We have a black man in the <laughs> a office. <laughs> a black man. First off, I love the set. Like, Thanks, man. Thank uh, you. It's nice. It's Welcome. got all the best things. Welcome, Will. Hand, Let's too. get an introduction <laughs> before before anything. Yeah, so William Haynes is here to talk about a bunch of different things today. A lot of it involves me and drama that we've had in the past uh, short little while, which is... Oh, we're going to talk about that? Oh, I was, dude, I was yeah. dragged in due to my own vices as well. And I wasn't at all. Just to preface this... <laughs> James is completely innocent. Just to preface <laughs> it, I know for a fact this is going to make me come off like a bad person, and I know that. It and will. I, it will. And I, we've, will, have, will and I have already, clear, well. we've already clearly like squashed the beef uh, yeah. for the most part. I don't know if there's still the any um, animosity with you, but we'll figure that no, out soon. No, no. Yeah, me neither. You're I allowed to, though, as well. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you t- uh, well, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash people be like. I just got my channel back from the company that canceled we'll be talking it a year about ago, that. and I need you to subscribe. Oh. The we're government be, stole oh, this baby, fucking channel. We're going to be government. getting into that. No, the company. I just want to remind everyone here, we're on a brand new um, kind of really important format of the podcast here where we yeah. don't talk over each other. It's a yeah. very important thing. We let somebody finish their thoughts before they're uh, before they're interrupted or yes. someone else joins in. We're going to respect each other. I'd like to, yeah. um, I'm going to keep a tally as well, just so that by the end of it, I'll know that it wasn't just me. Is this a mm-hmm. mental tally? Um, I mean, I can have a physical one because you already did Mental uh, would never James, work. Whoever actually, has the most one. gets that many lashings at them. Mm-hmm. And if I'm the only one that gets lashings, it's not okay. <laughs> well, debatably. I don't <laughs> agree with that. I think they <laughs> I have earned to everyone. first give out lashings. I give just out the kidding. lashings first. Yeah, I okay. mean, the lashings are cool. You Eyelashings. Can, you can lash yourself. I feel like you'd be into it. I feel like you got a real flat ass, you know, and you, so you're gonna really feel it. 1830s Steve would totally be into lashings. <laughs> uh, current day Steve is into lashings. I but feel no, like you like a slap on that. That uh, <laughs> that reminder was for everyone, not for anyone specific. Truly. No, actually, Alyssa's grabbed my ass during a, a sex encounter before, and I it was a bummer. Really. I, Sorry, that was yeah. a pun. <laughs> I like to make sure that um, my partner doesn't know that I even have a fucking <laughs> asshole. She's not allowed to know. Yeah. She's like, do you want me to touch it? Uh, no. 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 Do you want me to just a pinky? No. Nope. Do you want me to stick? Me to stick? Um, yeah. I hear it's great. I hear it's great. You've but never I tried just, it? I, I just feel like, ooh, poo poo goes there. I hear mm-hmm. it's great. Dudes are like, that's where the, the male prostate, like, I'm cool. Just, I'm, I just. Well, he's your man. Yeah, I'd be willing for Alyssa to do that and try it, but I just don't feel like taking the proper efforts to make it not bad for her. You know, <laughs> I have yeah. no desire. I'm happy with um, yeah. the normal form of intercourse. Me too. Me too. I feel like that's yeah. enough Personally, for me. You don't yeah. want anything in your ass? No. I, even Except though, for shit exiting it. I think <laughs> it should, girls should be able to grab dudes' asses more. Like, that yes. shouldn't be weird. I agree. I Sometimes I'd be alone and I'd be like, man, I wish somebody was grabbing, grabbing my, my ass, ass right, right now. now. <laughs> yeah. Now, do you mean without their permission? With my permission. Yes, with, okay. oh, with my yeah, permission. Because okay. I was about to ruin your career right there. <laughs> <laughs> you may grab me. I mean, shit, if she's my woman... Yeah, grab me anytime. No, that's yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. I, I feel like I'm taking it any time. Oh so yeah, just you're out in public and just suddenly you hear, not a stranger. <laughs> <laughs> Everything speaking, I think still. I, I think, think or it, it could be the monitor. Man. I I'm believe sorry. it's the monitor. I don't think it's actually the audio. Okay. But Jamie is in charge of the podcast. It turns out if it does, if it is peaking, then we have a problem. And once again, Jamie has to. Be I appreciate fired. what you're doing, Jamie. Good work. You sounded like Obama there. That I can't was help wonderful. it. Wonderful. It's stuck in me. No, it's a good thing though. It's it's a wonderful. Um, I've tried to stop. Cadence. No, it's a wonderful cadence. Even I mean that genuinely. Thank the, uh, you. I'm looking at you. I mean it's that stuck in me. I like. I was. I, I just can't stop. There are a couple people that are stuck in me. It's a great uh, host voice. Name Whoa. twelve. <laughs> Name twelve. Gary Shandling. <laughs> <laughs> what brand are you right now? Digger. I don't know. Digger. <laughs> Gary the snail from SpongeBob. <laughs> Gary the snail. Meow. I don't that's, know that's what him. brand. That's the guy. It's, he sounds like Wait, a guy saying that? meow. Who's Gary that? from SpongeBob. The snail. Not, not picking up what you're putting. But down. he's like a cat. He's a cat. He says meow. Yeah, snails are cats and worms are dogs in SpongeBob world. <gasps> worms are dogs. Yeah. What the oh. fuck is SpongeBob? Right? I'm hearing a lot of echo right now. Right? Are you guys hearing that? Clear you know, head. what I think is funny about SpongeBob is that it's a huge meme on the internet and you see old people like posting like Mr. Krabs, a smelly smell, a smelly smell. You don't know what yeah, a smelly smelly that. was that My, you don't smell. What, the you only don't know funny sponge. meme. I'm so sorry to interrupt you. I was doing it. Um, so that's one for me. The only meme that I think is even funny from SpongeBob is the dude with the brown pants walking into the green fish, yeah. walking in. He's like, fire up those brothers because I'm starving. And then like he gets kicked out right after in the episode. But like all the fucking memes about that are yeah. the only ones that are funny. And I'm Suds. Not- 
I think all the SpongeBob memes are funny. The one that Patrick on the roof from a couple months ago, but he was like, he's Make like it. smiling, but like, oh, when he's attached to the ceiling, yeah, and he's like he's smiling, but like frowning. I actually kind of was into that. What I, I like about few the memes from SpongeBob is that it makes you remember the episode that it's from, and then that's where I get the joy from. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is remembering yeah. the actual yeah. episode. First, you've got seasons. something there that could be a big part as to why it's yeah. so popular. People just love the nostalgia, so it'll never die. I haven't enjoyed a meme probably ever. But you're a cynic. Never. You're a cynic, Steve. You're stupid. And everyone knows it. Never you're trying to take everything away from us. Everybody hates <laughs> that friend, though. I get you. Everybody hates that. Everybody has that meme friend. That's like, always got to show you every oh, yeah. meme. And you know, I already saw it, you motherfucker. Yeah, he sounds good. Uh, but uh, yeah, I get you. I don't search for memes. Yeah. But when yeah. I see them, I do enjoy. I like the DW from meme that's going on right now, where she's like got bags under her oh, eyes from uh, I just saw that from Arthur. I, while I was diarying. Where like, are you guys seeing Twitter? memes? Twitter. I honestly just see it on my Explore page on Instagram. Whenever someone posts a meme on my timeline, I immediately mute them. Oh, and that's why I don't see them. Yeah. <laughs> I also haven't followed someone in like a long time. I also that's criticize true. people that say meme in real life. Yes. Yes. Oh, like Nico. Dude. We play this with this Fortnite kid. He's Nico. older than us. Where's Nico's this, from? this little kid we play with know, online? But uh, we were doing something, and I was like, "Oh, I need AR ammo." And then he uh, dropped one bullet, and I was like, "Very good, dude." And he was like, oh, "I did it for the meme." And I was like, "Don't ever say meme when you're talking about real life." <laughs> and he changed forever. <laughs> and he didn't. And he, he's dead now. Some people have become he's memes though, and it like ruins your life. Yeah. Or you, you were a meme for a while. I was? Oh, dude. When your brand, no one could tell what it was, and <laughs> you didn't know what it was? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Well, maybe. There, I want to be a meme for sure, you but definitely, that's what you say now until it happens. There was a point in time where you were so confusing that you were a meme. <laughs> for sure. I, I, I was agree with that. <laughs> turned into the Logan Paul meme, and that thing went viral and was posted everywhere. What? Did you see the picture of Logan Paul, with the, and it looked like a, like a crackhead Logan Paul? No. It went fucking crazy on Instagram. Yeah. Like I was a meme every... too. Were you actually? Yeah. yeah, for the I wanna die. That went a lot of oh, places really? on Instagram. Yeah. That's a good meme too yeah. because that was self-aware. Yeah, memes are good, but they I'm can also hurtful. ruin you. <laughs> yeah, they can yeah. ruin you. Because you don't want to be that guy or girl. No. Hey, you're a fucking meme. Or you can run with it like a crazy ex-girlfriend. You remember her? She ran with it, Lena. Mm -hmm. She got people to actually know what her real name is. Who? My, the crazy girlfriend. She like had a knife and she was Psycho smiling. Girlfriend. Oh, yeah. Psycho girlfriend. Yeah. She then, got into movies and shit. I think. Yeah. Too. She, yeah, she won an it. Oscar. It's possible. <laughs> For La La World. From Room. <laughs> Kevin Hart. Room. Kevin Hart is a meme. Really? Just, like, that photo of him frowning like with the stand-up mic, everybody used it oh, for yeah, a long yeah. time. Well, he uh, was already famous. He was already like, famous. Who's though. that horrible actor dude who was just terrible allegations? Kevin something. Kevin Spacey? Spacey. Spacey, yeah, he's a meme. I've never he's seen House of meme. Cards. He held up a, a, a like a cutout of his face. He was on a subway, and then he moved it, and it was him to this like beat drop. <laughs> dude, that guy's <laughs> amazing. <laughs> <laughs> who? Kevin, Kevin Spacey. Spacey. He did that? Yeah. It wow. was a huge meme. Oh, wow. It was very I think funny, it's but. Back when he was okay. Yeah, yeah it was. But it was. it's also like, you fucking sicko. You, when you fucking see it too. sicko. Now that's gone. Sucks. I remember everybody loved House of Cards, and I was always. I heard it would be mm. interesting, but I never watched it. Me neither. Yeah. I couldn't get into it. It's still worth watching the first two seasons. After wow. that, it kind of sucks. But the first two seasons are some of the best TV. That I hear it's exists. intense. It's David Fincher, right? Yeah. yeah. David I think, Fincher. I think he's the first season. And then yeah. he produced the second bad. season after that. I feel like, because Mindhunter, I think he only actually directed the first episode, right? Yeah. I think he did. The, he does the whole thing. Hmm. Yeah. I could be I wrong. I have to go back and rewatch it. Mindhunter, I'm starting to get more into it because what I keep that? watching really? all these crime podcasts and I keep watching all this oh. stuff about serial killers and Don't. it is terrifying because Alyssa always, you. she has Have this, your mental health. It is. Yeah. You know, I, I've realized that about There's myself too. one for you. <laughs> I've been watching no, news. I watch news nonstop. And it's also bad for my mental health. I'll take it. Yeah, I don't watch news. I want to be entertained by the uh, things I watch. Things? No, I was I was in the middle of the thing, and then Kib talked to Will. No, no, I was so uh, he was saying it's bad for you, and I said bad for your mental health. Like one for you for interrupting as well. You guys both it, got it's, lashes. Dude, it's, it's harder than you think. It's just I, I think you should them. just be aware of it. Well, I'm gonna sometimes when ass. you contribute. Um, when someone's saying something, you go, yeah, blah blah blah. Like, well, let me not interrupt. Bring up this thing about Alyssa though, because she has been watching. I all had these, a point. I had a point before this. They got turned it. Jamie, we should fight. Um, I agree. Can you Dude. cancel this? <laughs> I don't care. Oh, Jamie's, Jamie's out. Sign. <laughs> sign. Okay. Uh, well, I was just going to say that Alyssa has been watching a lot. She has like an innate fear of death, and I have never known why. It's like a very serious fear. Like Reasonable. Phobia Reasonable. of death, but unreasonable. Completely unreasonable. Like in ways that you would never even imagine. Like, oh, you shouldn't worry about that, but you can't tell someone who has a phobia not to worry about that because it doesn't do anything. Yeah. So... She listens to crime podcasts in her car on the way back from work. And I didn't make the connection at first. 
And then I started listening to crime podcasts, Sword and Scale. Turns out the guy who does Sword and Scale is actually kind of a creep. Had really? no idea. Yeah. What? Yesterday you were all about him. <laughs> I was. No, and then Mimi told you. It's the addictive, truth. huh? Because they have a format. And yeah. there's definite juice in there. It's yeah. about interesting shit. It's real stories. It's like and a, it's real. It's like a yeah. Netflix crime documentary. That's Truly. A, sorry, man. Not, not good so, for your mental health. Not good for mental health. How did that? How is that guy a creep? Um, he try. He talks to people that comment on his. I don't know if it's a Facebook page or if oh, it's where is it. Sexually? But he says like sexual things uh, to fans and all that, and it's like gross. It's fuck like, off. The stuff he says is really gross. He's like something, something, something. Like a normal response. Also, send naked pictures. Literally, no way. Literally, no. That's kind of hilarious. It is hilarious knowing from a like, very like, wow, what a fucking idiot. Like, what a freak. Yeah, you know, and um, you know that dude does dark fucking shit in the bed too. I want you to, <laughs> you I know want you to wear my up. face ties them up. as you regret me. <laughs> Listen, James, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna cut off one of my. Pinky I think it also fingers. helps if we're talking further from a mic. I've noticed that it's not like peaking. Mm -hmm. What is he, it's the director for, of the the, the things? Hosts just, it, narrates yeah. it. I don't know if he writes yeah. it as well. Crime shit is scary. But I noticed that, like, because I, I started listening to Sword and Scale as well, and hearing all the, I've listened to it for a couple weeks now straight, just in the car on the way there, on the way home from work, and I've started to get, like, panicky yes. throughout the day, mm -hmm. and I start to imagine all these little ways that I could be killed, or how I could become the yep. killer, and all this shit, and mm -hmm. it's, like, it's awful. Bad for you. It really does feel like they're it's, giving you details constantly on how people got away with it, but then they eventually get caught putting those grooves into your brain. So you're actually throughout the day thinking about that shit, though, like ways yeah. you could die. It's just I, like when you listen to music, it's you later on in the day, it's going to go through your head. And mm -hmm. I think subconsciously it affects me subconsciously. Mm. Like I'll start to feel uh, just a weird dude. I do the Scary same thing. Feeling. I love the news. I'm not going to lie to you. Past couple weeks, I haven't even been listening to music. I've just been watching the news. And then late night, which is just them talking about news, I'm obsessed with it. But I've realized over like the last literal week, I'm like, I don't have any joy mm. in my life anymore. I don't listen to the music. The is, like, yeah. But I love it. I love the news. I'm learning and I know everything. <laughs> but just like you, throughout my day, like I'm like if when you first start watching the news, CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, it hurts your feelings. Mm -hmm. You can only watch for a couple minutes. But now I'll go on for hours. Nonstop. You're looking for the darkest fucking the story darkest you can shit. find to make your life feel better, but then it then makes your life worse. Yeah, <laughs> it, it doesn't hurt my feelings anymore, and that's where you're at too. It doesn't hurt you to hear these things. So, with all the news that you've watched, have you been able to make sense of all this? Because it seems like what's happening and what's been happening is that it's an information war about putting all this information out yeah. into the public and them getting confused and sort of disassociated from it all yes. like it's not like everything is and hopeless distracted. Yeah. yeah distracted yeah. Yeah. hopeless distractions there's so many distractions like and i'm super aware of it it's like what's, it's just crazy what's the real message people need to know about everything that's happening right now what's like the thing that you cut through all the bullshit and you see i think the funny thing if we're really going to talk about it real quick like yeah, the yeah. funny thing about trump is he's great a distraction his move is y'all can't get me for stuff if i'm constantly throwing yeah. new stuff out there so one of the biggest things they're talking about in the news right now is the stormy daniels case there's this lawyer michael avenatti who's on the news every single day talking about how i'm gonna take trump and michael cohen to jail uh here's the thing uh that's probably the biggest case against trump right now but if they do get him for it the what he's what he did wrong was campaign finance violations you can only spend five thousand dollars he gave her a check for one hundred thirty thousand dollars out of his campaign money that's one there are so many things for them to investigate. By the time they do that, he'll be out of office, he, and it won't he, even matter. He has 15 years of life left, tops. He's 72. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's not going to serve time. Like he's 72. A, yeah, he's they cannot get time. him in oh his amount God. of life they, left. They, the, the biggest like <laughs> possible punishment that they could give him is impeachment. And by the time that that whole process is done, he's either A, going to not be president, or B, resign. He's never going to see jail time because he's got enough money and enough clout to like never see jail to time. avoid it just yeah. keep throwing more stuff out there and even just the age he's like <laughs> the I fucking just, queen he can't be touched mm -hmm. they're just like well we'll put him in a retirement well, well, yeah, the, a, a well the queen's a reptilian <laughs> so <laughs> she created the clan she's still here i read a really weird thing about the queen once i was reading about Meghan markle and i read an article that said that she uh, can only have her nails clear because the qu the queen doesn't like for people to have colored nails. Well, sorry, Miss Elizabeth. <laughs> you better not show Mrs. up. Elizabeth. <laughs> sorry, Mr. <Mister> Elizabeth. <laughs> Dude, oh that's your dead toe. God. It's different. <laughs> let's uh, let's bring it back to reality real quick. Uh, sure. Reality. Queen Elizabeth um, real. We're gonna bring bring it back Barely. to uh, a story that happened very recently. Mm -hmm. Something that's that affects me and Will uh -huh. and uh, and in <laughs> ways you guys, which was a was, very weird I situation. Directly, Kip, indirectly, me. Yeah. But uh, we'll indirectly. get to your guys's uh, thing real quick. But. 
I know people have been asking about this ever since uh, we brought it up. Yeah. There has been a little bit of beef between me and Will, mostly Will being mad at me, which is absolutely the perfect Warranted. response to this because uh, I'm a bit of a cockhead. Uh, true. I have, a, I have a bad nature about me, um, and I'll dive into that in a little bit. But Will and I, uh, we talked a lot at VidCon, you know, got on a good groove. I, yeah, um, VidCon, you and I were both just wandering aimlessly, and then we wander aimlessly towards each other, and then we kind of just joined. Dude, I was outside <laughs> playing Hidden Folks on my phone. where I, It's like a Where's Waldo game, and uh, I saw you. I was like, Will, we talked... I think the rest of the night we were yeah yeah I think from there on uh, I was with you for the rest of the night yeah we went to the we went to the bar so you know how VidCon is now it's not like how it used to be there's a whole different hotel where all your favorite YouTubers at and you can't even go see them <laughs> this is my first year <laughs> so they, that's the only that's the only way you know it to be yeah. you could totally avoid the entire crowd so that's where we were at and we actually went to a bar and it was you me and Nathan Zed and I think it's so funny because you and Nathan Zed did not know who each other was I still don't know who is Nathan yeah, Zed Nathan Zed he does funny Twitter stuff oh cool and uh, makes videos and uh, you me and him were sitting at the bar for a while and we had a lot of conversations and that was funny yeah and they uh, were good conversations too they were yeah, deep and funny and it, it was, was great it went to a lot of places and yeah. we connected a lot and yeah. it was it was amazing yeah and uh we talked about you know working together more on sp7 and uh yeah. people be like uh-huh and yeah this was just before people be like came out so, yeah uh, actually i didn't know i know you said you got your show back but yeah. I, I was picturing that like further in the future yeah, i hadn't told anybody it was going on for months and i was keeping it just to myself so and, uh, the crew will sent me a text that was like a come be on uh come be in a video mm -hmm. um and it was you know that was all it was mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you gave me a sp sorry i'm burping right now it's okay mm -hmm. and uh it was on a specific day at a specific time i was like yeah hell yeah and then yeah. the day started to roll by the day started to roll by without you know texting each other or anything about it yeah. and then uh you sent me another text that was like um i forget you coming? What it, was. it was like yeah, you coming, coming. no and response no response and that was the first no response was one of those things where like I'll be doing something during the day and I'll see the text and I'm like oh I'll respond to it later and then I forget about it. I yeah. think everybody does that. Yeah. Um, yeah. But horrible with that shit too. I have yeah. a very bad habit of not doing it like not responding more than once. Like if I don't respond once and I see another text there, I'll start to get like not nervous but I'll get anxious about it. And I think that's the same thing. And uh, and you I, didn't respond to me. I won't respond again. And then I after, probably sent a couple more. Yeah. I'm like, hey, are you coming? You are did, you coming? You yeah. did. And you sent another one afterwards. And I just at that point, like after a few texts have been sent and I haven't responded, I have no idea how to rejoin the conversation and mm -hmm. not look like an asshole. Simply which is, respond. I know. That's the thing. It's it's well, so I mean, simple. It's so simple. Well, even like several days before, I think it was um maybe the day after the party because we did talk about it. And we were like, well, yeah, we haven't got well, there yet. We yeah, got well, there okay, yet. so we're, okay, we're gotcha. so then you just didn't get back to me. And but then there's also another side to it. Uh -huh. um, I also don't. I didn't have a car at the time, and at that point, I was so fucking sick of Ubering everywhere. It was just getting fucking annoying, uh -huh. and I was about to get a car. And I always, I do this thing where like, I know it's going to be inconvenient for me because I'll have to Uber all these places, but I say yes to everything, even if I want to do it. AKA it's just like, lying. Yeah, and you know in the back of your head, you're like, fuck, when, when the day comes where I have to do it, it's going to, like, I'm going to have to Uber there. It's going to be a whole thing. And then uh, I believe it was the day after, or the day before, yeah. and Alyssa's uh, birthday party was going to be the night the night before. Before. Uh, and I was the like, night before? Yeah, uh -huh, yeah. And uh, it was a listen and Audrey's party. And uh, yeah, Audrey texted me to come. And I was like, all right, I came. I even yeah. made a video about it. It was really fun. And yeah. Like, Cowboy hat. Yeah. Cowboy hat. Yeah, I did a party. Yeah, so cool. we were all there. Mm -hmm. We talked. I knew I was going to be too hungover the next day. Mm -hmm. I knew it. And I think I told you that at the party. But maybe you didn't take it seriously. Because mm -hmm. um, we were filming for a later the next day. It wasn't yeah. the next morning. It was yeah. later the next day. <laughs> and also, Kib over yeah, here. Yeah, I'm just as guilty, dude. So what you didn't know, what you didn't know is that I was planning a secret bit uh -huh. uh, where he was going to come and do some shit to you. And uh, he said he was going to come. Uh, both you guys at said the you party. Were. You said you were going to yeah, come. I uh, did say I was going to come. Yeah, yeah, you did. And uh, I meant it at the time. Yeah, and you did. I believed yeah. you. Uh, and uh, But as I was leaving, I asked you if you were going to come. You were kind of like, but I, I took it as a yeah. After we left and Owen was with me and he was like, I don't think he's I don't think he said he was going to come. <laughs> and I was like, nah, he's coming. And so next day came, uh, texting you, mm -hmm. texting you, 
Uh, neither of you guys text me back. Uh, and what you thought was going on was just filming a video. Well, yeah, I was under the impression because it was it was very cryptic. It mm-hmm. wasn't like I thought I was just going to come over. We were going to film something that could be like be rescheduled or something. Yeah, it was like, like you maybe like John Ross. Maybe just us filming. Maybe it, it what was, you didn't know is that I was doing a huge like late night talk show with the audience. Yeah. People there were like wanted twenty to come, people there. I had people that wanted to come see you specifically. Oh, uh, God. yeah, uh huh. Like your ex. Uh, I had your ex, man. Uh, she was gonna slap you with a pie, <laughs> with her new pie hands. Uh, and uh, but yeah, but you guys ended up not coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, the show was really bad. The other guests we had that week turned it to not be a good episode. So I really bombed. It was the first time I had bombed Dude. too. I was like, everybody was like, Will, uh, it's gonna be okay. But then I just went in this zone. Uh, we were like two weeks away from releasing. People be like, we have been shooting the past couple Sundays, and I was like. Uh, I got a. I'm I'm running out of time to be able to shoot, and you guys uh, bailed on me, so I was pretty mm-hmm. upset. So <laughs> brings us to my part of the story. <laughs> so before we talk James about is that, innocent here. Yeah, James I have, is the only I have a funny uh, perspective on the story with the with the last part that happened. Uh huh. So I think it was uh, we're at the that party. No, the no, night no. before it was. Yeah, yeah, no. But uh, we didn't talk about the show uh-huh. together at the party. Uh-uh. So I uh, after the show happened on the Sunday, I think either Monday or Tuesday, you came in here. Yeah, Dude. the next day. I came the next day. The next day. Oh, so you got to par- build up to this. The yeah. okay. party was, and so also, I will build up. We to need it. to know where I am at this point, as well. and right. there was text as well. I'll, I will, I will build up. I'll do it properly. So, me and Kib are here at the office. Uh, Steve, I believe, is at the DMV. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. So, Steve's and at the DMV. You guys didn't expect me to come here because no. I've never been because here because I had because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that and I had heard of this happening maybe an hour before you got there mm-hmm. about like uh, just kind of like hearing Steve and Kib be like, oh fuck. I didn't go. Oh fuck! I didn't go either. And I was just like, "All right, what are you <laughs> yeah. talking about?" And then so th- so we're there in the office. Me and Kib are at our desks. Steve's not there because he's at the DMV. I'm at the DMV all day because mm-hmm. I'm finally getting a car, making right. my life convenient again. Yeah. Right. Um, Tori walks in and says, uh, "There's a William here," and I, and we were. I was like, hmm. I, I thought like, fan immediately. I was I like, was I'll like, go check if it's a fan. Yeah. And then I was like, William Haynes. And then Tori was like, I don't know. Uh, blah, blah, blah. The look that we gave each other, no. <laughs> <laughs> this cannot be. Kim's, Kim's was, was like, like a no, and mine was like, oh, no. mine was like, I was like, now it's the time that we deserve. So you, how did he find the office? <laughs> Second of all, I didn't deserve anything. <laughs> Will comes in and he starts. Um, I like, walk in and I say, "What the fuck happened?" Stormed in, dude. You're you're <laughs> going view. you're going on and you're going on, and in my head, I'm like, he has a right to be upset, and then the other side of my head was like. Will, don't you ever fucking come in my office and start talking shit and doing shit? Because I was like, (laughs) I was like, don't you dare ever. Wait, can you guys do a live interpretation of how this all was? Because I still am not quite getting it. Like, I don't know the tone of it. All right, I'm Uh, sitting at my desk. Will was pissed, but he was trying to conceal it. (laughs) Will walks in the room. I want to hear the exact conversation replayed with you guys right here. All right, we're going to cut to a clip. (laughs) James is beside me on my right. I'm sitting here. Will walks in. Not just walks in. Power move. (laughs) Walks in, swings the door open, laughing. Walks in, laughing. Walks well, like, in. Uh, I, I was. There, yeah. He was maniacally so, laughing. Make sure to do yeah. the voices and like you normally do that. You normally do that. But and, under this uh, context, it was psychotic laughter. It was, it was psychotic. <laughs> I knew you were either gonna shoot me or have a peaceful or conversation something. about it and figure it out. I was pretty upset. And, and what did you say when you walked I, in? What the fuck happened last night? And then I noticed the subject wasn't here, and I was like, God damn it. <laughs> Uh, to be honest with you, I thought you were hiding in here. I was like, he's Dude, probably. Oh my god, you would do that. <laughs> you would. Know, behind the wall. No, he goes up to the wall and just like uh, changes color to match the wall. <laughs> You got good friends because I'm telling them. I'm like, call him on the phone right now. We're calling Steve. And they're like, nah, I mean, maybe you should just call him. I'm like, let's fucking call him. And they're like, nah, he's probably, he's at the DMV. Like, so, yeah. Uh, and then I was like, if I call him and go, surprise, Will's here to yell at you, <laughs> yeah. that would not be okay for me. I was like, yeah. you should call him. You got good friends. Happen. You were really lucky that you weren't here, too. Uh, yeah. Dude, Will would have Dude, he would have jerked you off. <laughs> I would have so jerked fast you off. Hard so quick, and so dude. dry. Well, I think dude. it would have been solved uh, quicker it if I was here. It would have. Yeah. It would have been an immediate y'all are extinguishment. Yeah. Y'all are innocent. I explained my piece. I said yeah. that, like, we talked about it only at the party. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I ignored it. Yeah. Thinking that, like, yeah. Will won't but give a shit. You were only a small part of it. 
Yeah, you exactly. I was just gonna be a yeah. fan. Exactly. You, we at, at VidCon, we had a conversation about what people be like was, but you have this problem with listening to people. Yeah, yeah. So by the time I told you what you were doing, you had forgotten because you had three white Russians. Was what I should have realized. And forgotten <laughs> is the right word. Three, uh, three, yeah. three yeah. Double, double white Russians. Yeah, doubles. They were. White the correct Russians. word was didn't absorb in the first place. Didn't absorb in the first place. <laughs> Thinking about didn't his ab- his cat matching game while <laughs> while you're talking. <laughs> like I already have a hard time listening. Yeah. Um, I have like selective hearing for sure. Um, yeah. I really only do, why am I burping? Yeah, because you're drinking. And I really only like listen to what I want to listen to, which is normally like a decent amount of stuff. But if something like, if I'm just dis- if I get distracted, it's just like ah, uh, I don't have to worry about this for the rest of my life, yeah. which is never the case. I always have to worry about everything. Um, and then I get a call, I think at the DMV from you. Yeah, I and, called you. And then I you still haven't texted me yet. This is the next day. You still haven't texted me and said oh. sorry, I didn't make it. Oh, actually, <laughs> I get a call after you leave. I think from Kib and you saying, "Hey, Will was just in the office, uh, kind of creeped out a little bit," <laughs> and I was like, "Wait, this cannot be real. How do you find the office?" Uh, and then you guys told me about what happened and everything. I was like, "Yeah, oh, geez." <laughs> and then uh, I get a call from Will, and when I'm at the DMV, but I'm literally like going up to the line. I'm like. This I is, I'm not. Yeah. Gonna, this isn't going to be the, a good place to do this. Mm-hmm. So then I forgot about it. Um, <laughs> insane. Well, let me just For, say, when he came yeah. back, first of all, we were very. I was very taken back. Like, how long was I? Like, dude, I'm like fucked up from yeah. what just happened. Yeah, and right I was now. just like, it's okay. He was upset. He had the right to be upset, but I think it was inappropriate for him to storm into our office. But I understand why he's upset. So I was just like trying to be the level headed because uh-huh. I wasn't like emotionally invested yeah. in it. Right. I didn't but, mean to be angry. Honestly, at the same I didn't time, I planned to be mad. You called Kim and I right yeah. after. Uh-huh. You apologized. Yeah, and I was like, that's what you do when yeah. you do something you apologize for it and mm-hmm. it's like the only thing you needed to apologize for was coming here not for being upset because you were absolutely like in, in the, the right yeah, yeah you should have been upset right but Thank it was you. like and so i was instantly like when it happened i was taken back by it and then you called and apologized and i was like oh simply is just fine yeah because mm-hmm. you guys are good people you guys are good people the reason why i was upset was because i got yeses in person and i know you guys to be my real friends yeah you i don't you guys have always been nice to me since the day i met you and honestly i have a friend we have a mutual friend who before told me that they were like ah oh, subject's not gonna come and i was like what are you talking about subject is my real friend of course he's gonna come and then when you didn't i felt embarrassed that i thought that you were uh, gonna come so and Alyssa I, feels the same way about things too yeah <laughs> dude and, i do it to yeah. everybody and it's uh, it's a habit that i really need to break this year yeah. be, try to be more mindful like if you get a text Look at it and just respond right there. Well, yeah. now that I have a car, that. everything is turned around. Well, let's I continue swear. the story too. <laughs> yeah. it, now it, that I have a car, I can text back. No, I mean <laughs> that's the thing. It's like I know how inconvenient it was going to be, um, yeah. but I like I always had this habit of just saying yes. And also, yeah, I think the smart thing to do than saying yes to everything is if it's something where you're immediately like that sounds dope. Yes, if it's if you're not sure in any way, yeah, possibly. Well, and nothing then you can, me ever and then that pushes dope. the actual decision to later. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think it feels weird sometimes mm-hmm. even to mm-hmm. say like maybe because then you, you feel like kid. you're disappointing that person. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, you guys are. My, I'm. Clo- I feel comfortable enough to say maybe to mm-hmm. you guys. Yeah, you know I mean, because I truly. You don't should feel know. comfortable in front of anyone. You have the right to I feel and though. make decisions based mm-hmm. on what you want to do over it's easier a decision. Said than done. But it honestly, is. I was more than stoked and down, and I meant yes when so when it happened. But then the next day, I was like, I am tired and. I, it was just neglect. Yeah, we were shooting kind of late stupid. that day. Yeah, Why yeah. are you yeah. shooting so late? I feel you. Uh, we're the only late a, night show. That's it's a late night show. <laughs> it's a late night show. Yeah, yeah but we got to continue the story. It's not a 3 p.m. Yeah. show. So, I'm going to get kicked out of my apartment like any month. <laughs> like, so, it's so loud. Back to the story. It doesn't end um, there. When, when you get back to the <laughs> office, the exchange we had. Oh, what was that about? It was immediately because after the exchange um, of Steve realizing how serious the situation really was, he came back and he went, Oh fuck this! Fuck that forever because he, that, he got into a very defensive state instantly. But he quickly like got out of it and went, "Yeah, yeah, we'll, I'll talk to him." But the v- initial reaction was, "I'll never talk to him again." <laughs> because at that point, truly, I, you know at that I mean? point, I still because I don't think you guys knew you, you were upset about. Well, it. no, I don't think you guys knew exactly how many people showed up to that and like how big it was. Like you knew it was more than just you know a couple people, but I don't think any of us at that point no. still knew that it was like a production exactly yeah, there's a full and crew and their audience members so yeah wow and, uh, and i got people that specifically wanted to see you and like the president yeah. skyped in and i definitely <laughs> skyped in. i definitely get very defensive when it's like my fault mm-hmm. um it's just another issue that i it's have a human thing um man we're learning some shit tonight mm-hmm. <laughs> uh and then the next day 
I just I tried to like build myself up to it, and then yeah, I you still I, didn't text me back for an entire day. And I remember yeah. people were asking me; they were like, "Did he get back to you? Did Dude. he get back to you?" And he was like, "No, I knew you were. I always told him. I was like, he's gonna be on." And then the president skyped and was like, <laughs> "Did he get back to you? Did he get back to you? I heard what and he did to I this awful, he, awful channel. I think he really did want to go. <laughs> Truly." <laughs> I'm like the only guy he's nice to. I'm like, however, okay. dude. Wait, what did what did Trump say about Subtick? Uh, I think Trump, I Trump, says Trump doesn't like Stephen Subtick tremendously. Why? Because Stephen's a rapist. Everybody knows it. Everyone's been talking about it. You know, I've actually met Trump. <laughs> oh what? yeah, dude. Dude, there's a video clip of Will seeing Trump in the background. He goes. Uh, he puts his microphone up to Trump. He's like, so why do you hate black people? And <laughs> I, I, yeah, it was, Dude. A, it was the 2015 Republican debates. And I saw him. He was trying to go to the Fox News booth. Me and Lieberman are there. Lieberman yells at him, sir, two million subscribers on a, a, a source, source fed here. It was Trump snatches the, the microphone out of Lieberman's hand. I shit you not. Uh, he looks in the camera. He goes, ready? Young people. I love you. And then as he's walking away, I have my own mic, and I'm like, what's your biggest issue with minorities right now? He stops in his tracks. He says, none. Then he keeps walking. And, and then like, Lieberman <laughs> folds into a gelatinous what? mass in and fear. And him. <laughs> Lieber- Dude, that's you've so, gone. Dude, that's Lieberman so saw funny. a ghost. Like, he yeah, looked he at did. the camera, he's like, <gasps> He did see a ghost. He was like the dedicated wham kid. He's like, <laughs> so dude, did talk to Trump. He, he'd been telling me all day. He's like, Will, don't do anything. We want to get invited back. Don't do anything crazy. We need to get invited back. But once I saw him, I was pulling my trigger out. Yeah, like, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And, but also, I had to. And, like for the content, you have to. Yeah, I had like, to. Literally have to. I know? had to. Uh, you guys, well, because were you guys wanting to be taken seriously as a news, mm-hmm. like kind of network, or were you, it was comedy news, right? It was comedy news. Right, so I you had have to, to make those. I had to. There's no way I wasn't going to. Yeah. <laughs> so next day, I have it still like, haven't responded to me the whole day. Yeah, because um, I, I mean it was like I think a busy work day. Um, and then it was towards the end of the day when I was driving home, and it was like the first chance I got to you know like really collect myself and think. And uh, the first thought I had was to call you, uh-huh. uh, which isn't a great thing after all this time. But uh, I called you, and I think um, it was a I was very serious in in my response to you. I, I really truly meant it. And it's not that I I put my time above other people it's that i get so comfortable uh i think that's another aspect of it is i'm so comfortable just being in my spot in this office and that's been for like every like i build a comfort zone and i stay there i never want to leave it and that's another huge issue um that i'm still you know dealing with it's it's uh it's annoying for sure for a lot of people in my life it's Um, really hard out here in america this life Man, we suffer. You know it, we yeah. suffer. We so suffer hard. daily. You know, I was just thinking yesterday that there are child soldiers in the world, people in Afghanistan. And you they're know, dope. And they're, they're, they're powerful. powerful. <laughs> that is not a and video game. Uh, I have white people's we, suburban issues that I make yeah, for myself. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And I'm slowly just coming around. Shit. Yeah, right? There's such a, I feel like there's such, especially like in America and like in that Western kind of mindset of civilization of like, um, I see other people with problems and I have no real problems of my own, so I create these problems so that I could be a victim. Relate right? to and it. And it's like, <laughs> and uh. every single American is guilty of that. Yeah, we every have a great single, life. Yeah. And I don't want to be a victim, I want to victimize. And so, <laughs> Will and I like to call. <laughs> you have so much a great life, you have so much. I know you don't want to Uber, but think about how many Ubers you could get. Yeah. Think I, about the fact that you could get in an Uber. I he could, could get a hundred Ubers a day. Dude, I could <laughs> go Ubers a day. For, a couple, a, of, for a couple weeks. Maybe even a for thousand. For a couple of weeks. So just give me an Uber. Come up and hang out with me and some friends. You did. And I never thought that you wouldn't. So so you were right. Um, but we, yeah, we ended up shooting it the next week on Sunday at 930. And it was so much fun. It was so cool. Although I have to admit, um, I got there a little bit early, like 15 minutes early. Yeah. And, and I was doing someone else. Yeah. At the time. And I had to wait in the parking lot. Um, I probably still have the in dash cam. The truck. Probably still have the dash cam footage of this, but I had to wait in the parking lot uh, across the street from the apartment complex, <laughs> which is an abandoned parking lot. Oh, no God. one should ever be using that parking lot for anything during the night. Um, yet. So I park like there are three exits to this parking lot it's so stupid i'm in one of the exits in the middle uh-huh. a car pulls up behind me and honks at me and i'm i just put my i roll down my window and i hold out my arm like go around they pull up next to me and it's this woman and her i assume their boyfriend drive driving i definitely have the dash cam footage of this so i should go no back way. and review it Dude. i for sure do uh, at least you can hear what i was saying uh-huh. um and they pull up to me and like simply go around there are there are two other exits and they're like just you're in the exit move and i was i was like <laughs> What are you guys doing in the parking lot so late at night? Are you doing drugs? And they're like, what are, they're you like, said that you actually yeah. asked them. If and they're, they're doing I have drugs. the dash cam footage and everything, and, and no they're like, way. they're like, what are you doing in the parking lot? And I was like, drugs. <laughs> no way. 
way, <laughs> dude. Um, I've definitely had a lot of guests be worried. <laughs> they, so realized, yeah. they realized That's I wasn't going to move, so they just went around to the other exit that was probably like 20 feet away, and uh, that was it. And I never saw them again. And then uh, finally, fucking Ricky comes down and uh, Yeah, my showrunner. Mm -hmm. You have a showrunner for mm -hmm. this show. You, I have a full crew. How do you... How much? Yeah, that's if you don't mind expensive. me asking, is yeah. this expensive? It's uh, it's a long con. I have a production company, Supply Entertainment. Mm. We we oh, make shows. Your, this is what I didn't we know do. You're part of Supply. Yeah, uh huh. John, oh, since yeah. 2012, like yeah. we've been doing this, and they're my crew is so down for me. This is gonna like I'm pro like I I joke all the time. I'm like we're probably gonna lose this apartment, but like uh yeah, it, it's costing me. But uh so I feel like people look at it, you like a prophet. Yeah. You know, <laughs> my friends appreciate me. Uh, uh I, I appreciate them. A lot. I need them more than they need me. So this is why. <laughs> Bernie's thing that he said a really long time ago makes a lot of sense. He, he realized that you don't have to pay your friends that much. Yeah. I mean, the homie rate. The, yeah, homie, the homie rate. rate. Homie rate. Yeah, some, true. I mean, like, some friends have lived with me before, so it's like, you know, it's like... Although I have <laughs> to let you guys... on my couch. Yeah. I want you guys Months, to know like, we, we got a deal. that when we weren't owned by Rooster Teeth, I was paying you the most I could. I know. I appreciate that. So, uh, Dude, you're the reason that after SourceFed, I was even able to continue paying rent and things because yeah. of you. Directly your you bank account. You would have just been in a bathtub. I would have been melting in a bathtub. <laughs> Where you came based from. on the hydrochloric acid that I was bathing in. Yeah. <laughs> no, but no I, bathroom, no. <laughs> <laughs> truly, but I agree with that. I think that especially when you're an up and coming creator and whatever you're creating, you need to you and the people around you that you're building stuff with. You have to pay it forward, mm -hmm. right? You have to go out of your way to do things. Other your friends or your people you work with go out of their way to do things for you. And then when you're all up to a point where you're better, mm -hmm. you could ball out and everyone's having fun and you yeah. take you take them down yeah or <laughs> path number two exactly. or you surpass them <laughs> yeah Where? we're kind of at the bottom with ours right now because we're just trying to get people to look mm -hmm. um but it's cost me all my money so yeah well It'll get there man. Go from broke. what i saw with the show i mean it's a, it's so good yeah. it's like thank you so much you're a great interviewer it was i mean i don't i didn't see the other episode i mean they haven't been released yet yeah. maybe they're released only by one. the time this goes up yeah only the one just went out yesterday our oh, first episode oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my dad good yeah shit. and there's a new episode tomorrow on thursday dude that is such a funny idea how often do you see your dad uh Every couple of months. Like, I drive back up. I Actually, all this year, I've been driving up to the Bay once a month. But, yeah, usually it'd be months in between. Because you, you uh, <laughs> hopefully you don't mind me saying this. He wasn't a great dad, right? Uh, I, as a kid, I, I had issues with my father. I very much compared him to Joe Jackson. My dad was very, very tough on me. Mm -hmm. In the opposite way. He was never like, get good grades. He's like, be an entertainer. Get rich. Oh, really? Uh, yes. I was <laughs> under the impression wow. that he left. No, my no, 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 you're, you're thinking of my no. dad. You think it is dad? <laughs> no, I thought there was something weird about your dad. I did have an issue for years. I would always make jokes about it on SourceFed. My, like, I hate my dad. I hate my dad. Dude, you literally, <laughs> I swear to God, there was a long running joke where you were like, my dad left. Uh, yeah, as a joke. I would make uh, a lot of, oh. I would make a lot of jokes about my dad. Okay. Uh, yeah. But since then, like ever since I got, I, I made my own money on SourceFed. I became independent from my parents since 2014. We got, our, once I, when you're 21 years old, you need to get a break from your parents. Every 21 oh, yeah. year old. Oh, Oh, mine was at 19. Same. That's yours? Mine was at 18, Same. baby. I, I had my two-year break from my parents, and now they love me. My yeah. parents, they fucking love me. I love Because they see parents. that, oh, he's an adult. He can take care of himself, you know? Yes. No matter how yes. good this ever goes, my parents will always hold it against me that I didn't go to college. Really? <laughs> That's Dude, what they're No matter was, what too. happens, I could win an Oscar. <laughs> um, yeah, you probably have better chance if you if you went to college, though. You know what? The Oscar is <laughs> great, but you now now that you've got it, you can go back to college. <laughs> go back right, to school. Really, though? No, really, though? You, you need that degree. Community? You need that degree. <laughs> did you, you even do community? I did two years of community college. Yeah. See, that's what happened with my dad. I talk about it in this episode of People Be Like uh, that just came out yesterday, but my dad wanted me to go to film school. My dad went to film school. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah, it is. But was he going to pay for it? He made me. I wanted to be a journalist. He, was yeah, he yeah, gonna... yeah, yeah. And I mean, now I have to, but uh, but too, I wanted baby. to be a journalist. I wanted to have a real job. I wanted mm -hmm. to do things in news. My dad was like, you have a gift for making movies and being an entertainer, just like me, like I wanted to. And mm. that's where we got into controversy. But now that I've been here seven years, since he moved, made me move here when I was 17, I, he was right. Did you yeah, go to film school? Turning it into both. Yeah, I'm like, you know yeah, I mean? did you go to film school? I did for three years. Oh, where'd you go? Uh, I went to Columbia College of Hollywood in Tarzana. Is that good? No. Oh, really? <laughs> I would not suggest. Was it expensive? It. Yes. <laughs> wow. Yeah, really? It's, a, that, it's like I don't it's know if like it a, is one of those private like uh, like I, I don't know like if it is film for academy profit. Type of... Yeah, I don't know if it is a for profit school, but like I don't think you should go to film school. Were you able to make connections at least? Yes. This is where I met John and subplots. That's what I think film school is great for because I think that. Um, in high school, you might throughout your life have one or two friends that you keep in contact with. Mm -hmm. But in college is where you make like those real connections and people that are have the similar interests and you grow together. Yeah. Like I disagree with you. I think that 
I'm a, I'm a fan of education to an extent. Mm -hmm. I don't think that you need a film degree to make films by any means, but I think that the things you do learn, it depends on the school too, but the things that you'll learn in the classroom from people who have experience, getting experience yourself with other people with different minds, it's a great like yeah. cultivating uh, environment to make stuff. That's the thing that I, because I wanted to go to film school for a little bit too, because I mean, you can have talent and all that, but Rudimentary. school allows you to build a foundation yeah. and understand structural knowledge of yeah, things no, that you would right. never even know before. Because right. sure, you can now especially learn anything on the internet. Oh my God. But, yeah. <laughs> but to say that you will is mm -hmm. a different story. You know, Paying you people. can can and will are two different things. Like We don't have someone to hold you accountable. Exactly. You don't yeah. have mm -hmm. to go to this room for an hour and listen to this professor it's say true. things or the classmates do whatever. Yeah. If you're trying to learn yeah. things on your own, and yeah. but I mean, you could always do other stuff on the side, and like, like for for me, I was always trying to make projects while I was going to film school and be making shit like not just school projects, but like other shit. Like I did a couple film festivals up there, yeah. and like yeah, because I went to school in the Bay, and um, oh. I like campus movie fest and shit like that, where it's like, all right, you guys have a week to make this uh, whatever little short film you want to do and shit like that. And it's like you team up with people who are like in the in school, but like they don't have to be. And it's just like doing shit like that. And you get to know the community in whatever city you're going to college and make movies and shit like that. And it's like, I think it's a great experience. Yeah, literally yeah. my mm -hmm. last two years of high school and my two years of community college, uh, I did not focus on school at all. Like I still oh, had yeah. decent grades, but I would uh, <laughs> just read screenplays mm -hmm. just all yeah. day in class. And I would do YouTube on the Where side. Where did you go at? Mm -hmm. uh, I went to, well, for community college, yeah. I went to College of DuPage. Uh, in Glen Ellen, Illinois. Wow, yeah, that's yeah. a pl completely different place. <laughs> and you're right. Everything you just said was true. I do have, like, I feel like I, I know a little bit more than your average person around, and that's because I went to film school for three years. But once I and got also on... the amount of experience you have, though. Yeah, so and, it's all, like, and the day I went, the day I moved, when my dad packed my bags and drove me, I remember I woke up and we were in L.A. and I saw the skyline, and he said to me, he said, I, I, I want you to always aim to be one of the best, not in the city, but the entire country. And he said, I want you to find a team that you always work with. And uh, that's just him putting hella pressure on me as always but he was right yeah but yeah. I, and I wouldn't I, know shit <laughs> i get that i get that mentality though i think that and obviously i don't know your dad but like mm -hmm. that type of instilling that kind of like dream is is for me because i have like those dreams of like i want to be i don't want to be the best because i don't think anyone's ever going to be the best at mm -hmm. anything ever um but i think that i want to be great in my own eyes and i want other people to be inspired by that you mm -hmm. know what i mean in the sense that like mm -hmm. I want at least the opportunity to make something that's fucking top notch quality, right? Yeah. And I think putting those kind of values in, in my kids too is gonna be like, I want this for you because of the way that you're gonna feel. Not because like mm -hmm. I expect this from you, mm -hmm. but because of how it's gonna build you up. Like I want yeah. these things for you. You know what you I mean? You want them yeah. to feel how you feel. Yeah. Whether it's if sure. I get there. Yeah. yeah. I'm not quite sure where my motivation lies. My parents are very standoffish. Raising me like they're great. No, they're this great. This is a they're funny word to say. Yeah, I know. They're they let great. you play video games. Yeah, I, they're very truly. stagnant. But uh, and watch as much TV as you want. Mm, they, def I mean, I wasn't ever really watching TV. I was just playing Halo. But they let me just <laughs> suck it, was. Ronnie. Was playing Halo. <laughs> <laughs> if I was doing good in school and I wasn't getting in trouble, then I would just be playing Halo all day. And uh, or getting knocked out and dragged through the snow with your <laughs> pants falling. Or getting knocked out by drag queens again. <laughs> 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 and uh, yeah, they just kind of let me uh, left yeah. me to my own devices. And uh, mine too. It, it was. It was good, I think. I'm, I'm glad actually. about the path that worked out because uh, I, there was basically no structure at home. I had nothing to like, uh, really nothing to <laughs> focus too. on, and Same. I just kind of found my own path. That's and I think surprising. You we're think four like, little structureless boys. You're you're like family. I mean, just like seeing them and talking to them a couple times with you, they seem very structured. Well, I don't think they were ready to be parents. Oh, I see. Even at like age forty. Yeah, I was gonna say that. <laughs> I think that I think that every parent is probably not ready to be. No, a parent. Yeah, you can't be. But I think my parents told me like you're never ready. It just happens, and then that forces you to become yeah. a parent. I agree. You d you're not like today's the day. Yeah. To make a kid, I'm ready to, I'm yeah, ready to do this you thing. Can. Even if yeah. you're planning like, oh, we've been trying mm -hmm. you know for six months to have a kid, you're still like, but when that day comes and the baby comes out and I see my seed, yeah. you're gonna be like. Uh, I have a child. Mine didn't yeah. develop. It's way to just say that. seed. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I'm literally seeds. just picturing you come. A handful of cum. This isn't a child. Just a huge sunflower <laughs> seed. Placenta what? only. He's small. In the Dad. Part, Can it vote? In the part about having Can kids. Can it vote? And then they're like wrong in the same way you are or your woman person is. You're like, you're just like her in the way that I dislike about her. Mm. Your kids will be that way too. Mm. And what's wrong with you, your kids will be. So That's all they ever become is and the, yeah. the bad things of you. And, yeah, and the good. And that's why our parents <laughs> resent us. Yeah, It makes sense. I yeah. think it was like a, a year ago or maybe more when I like had the epiphany of like, oh, my mom was just a kid that grew up and had me. 
you know? Like, she was a kid, and she grew up and became an adult and had me. Yeah, and, you, you could know, be your mom. <laughs> you could be a And, parent. like, that's what I'm experiencing now. I'm now not a kid, but I'm and I'm growing up. I'm still a kid, yeah. you know? But, like, it's just weird when you, like, have that perspective on your parents that they were just kids that grew up and had mm-hmm. to be adults. Like, mm-hmm. are you ever not going to be a kid, you know? I think, you know, I think <laughs> mentally we will always be. I mean, some people have like old souls and some young, but like yeah. my dad, he's in his 40s and he, and he he's can't like, read I, write. I, he can't read or write. He's illiterate. <laughs> he's like, <laughs> he, he constantly says all the time, I still feel like I'm 20. Mm. He's like, I just can't do my body doesn't feel like I'm 20. But yeah. like mentally he wants to like play guitar and write songs and post YouTube videos. You know what yeah. I mean? So like, you have to have like mm-hmm. a sit down talk with him and just be like, dad, you are. Yeah. Dad, you old handedly, fuck. you were the My oldest like fucking person ever. <laughs> My dad's like that too. All he ever wanted to do was make movies. But he has four kids. I'm his fourth kid. So yeah. he never had the time to make any movies. Yeah. Is he circumcised? <laughs> I, you know what? I don't know. But like, let's, I always. Let's call him up. I, let's call him we get Will's Daddy, dad on the phone. Uh, he probably would tell us. Title of the podcast prepared. Will's dad is not circumcised. Dude, you want to call him? <laughs> All right, I will. No way. <laughs> <laughs> What's your dad's what name? James. What is his name? Yeah, mm-hmm. James. That's why. James. I wow, it's incredible. So many James. James today. what? I'm gonna yell at him. <laughs> Son. <laughs> James Haynes. James Haynes. But my dad had me when he was 19. Do you really want me to ask? I can't. I mean, yeah. If he, he if he doesn't, if he doesn't mind. Are you down? I can't. Okay, if you can't, don't do it. Then just do do your interpretation of what he would say. I want to. Yeah, you be your dad. Uh, uh, well, I'll be you. Uh, hey, dad. How big and what size and does your dick circumcise? <laughs> well, you know the Hanes cock is about ten inch on average. Well, so this is a very um. You a little short, son. <laughs> this is a very racist question, uh, but not intentionally because I'm actually curious. Uh, do African Americans generally get circumcised, or is that? I think not. Is that when they cut it off? Yeah. They don't cut your dick off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cut it all off. I'd say yeah, yeah, yeah. They that's do? the thing. Yeah. That's, oh, I, that's I feel like I think yeah. it's a very a Western thing. thing. Yeah. It's not a necessary. It's not Prefer a religious it. thing anymore. It's a very Westernized thing. Like a lot of Europeans aren't circumcised. Don't, yeah. But it's a very like a Westernized thing to be circumcised. Yeah. I prefer it. I'm circumcised. Me too. I'm My thirsty. dad's circumcised. I like. I think. It. Jamie, are you circumcised? <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't looked at his dick Dude, ever. I love having his voice off camera, like just, to, just in the distance. <laughs> I haven't checked. What's funny is, yet. isn't Joe Rogan's guy named Jamie too? Yeah. That does really? the same no job. Way. Yeah. Yeah, well, I met him. Yeah. Joe Ro- you met Joe Rogan? I met Jamie. I've met uh, Jamie. The funniest yeah. thing is, Jamie is the most well known <laughs> out of all of us here. <laughs> he's, he's like <laughs> off camera. He's just like this I right now. Checked. This is what Jamie's doing right now, and he has to because it's so fucking. Important. I don't even know going, what he's doing. Jamie has become the Danny DeVito of this group. Of, it's always sunny. Uh, <laughs> oh a, yeah, that's high praise. I'm though. glad they added yeah. him in. Or the yeah. bird. <laughs> D- <laughs> that's one of the funniest shows. It I don't is, watch dude, it anymore. It's my favorite oh, show. I think I'm on like I'm season it. four, and I need. I stopped watching it for like three months, but I watched it for the first time, like starting from the beginning like, yeah. a few months ago, and I'm I got to like season four or five ish, um, and it's then really I just good. started watching Hell's Kitchen a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Gordon, Is that Ramsay's Gordon so cool. Ramsay. Dude. You actually watch it on what? Hulu. Oh, dude, they've you like got commercials. F- they've got no. I got ad free, baby. You can get ad on free Hulu? Hulu. Yeah, I you add like that. two yeah, bucks. Yeah, You add two That's bucks crazy. to the month or whatever, and it's like no ads, dude. And so it's like, and it sucks because before you, it'd be like ad comes up in the corner. <laughs> 160 seconds like of the uh, time you're just like yeah. that's so yeah. long I think it's because Hulu shows, the shows have doubled s- they're like syndication or something like it's well, like being on TV yeah it's like with the viewers. I guess with the deals that they get with like whatever like Fox or NBC they yeah. have to have that revenue coming in because yeah. that's why a lot of shows don't go to Netflix because Netflix is like no ad never uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, see. I was two, just thinking that because yeah. 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 why is just everything on Netflix have everything on one service so I can watch it all because of yeah. uh, capitalism and, and companies well, okay that, then put the Netflix originals on on Hulu also, mm-hmm. so and then Netflix ain't happening. bombs overnight. It's not Hulu happening. is what they'll call it. You know, it. Disney's Hulu. gonna come out with their own too, so well, you can't watch any uh, Disney movies fucked. on Netflix. Disney's I think making mistakes all over the place because yeah. there are certain decisions that I'm like, well, obviously they're gonna do that because of money, but also I'm like, you're Disney. I know you, you have, have the money. Enough money. They yeah, don't. They're care. gonna be an empire. They already are. They already are. They've been. This is Disney's best next move. This was his dream. They no, just bought. They Time just bought Twenty Four Six Street Fox. Twenty Four Six Street. They bought Twenty Four Six Street Fox. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking crazy. It's gonna be Which huge. Is huge. Yeah. Crazy in a good and a bad way because bad it's because it's becoming a mon- monopoly and then good because we're gonna be able to see X Men mm-hmm. MCU. Mm-hmm. But we're not gonna. Mm-hmm. But we're not gonna be able to see Guardians yeah, of the Galaxy three directed by James Gunn. And we're not. That shit's crazy. And that's bullshit. So that's firmly bullshit. I think that's bullshit. If you didn't hear, you probably heard by now. They kicked uh, James Gunn, who was the director and writer, I believe. Maybe not the writer. Uh, no, he, he wrote. He wrote yeah, it. Oh yeah, because he, he, he wrote. 
So yeah. d- did he write Guardians of the Galaxy three? Or are they going to keep that as the? They I just knocked him off as the director. Yeah. I don't know. He, because he definitely of his finished tweets. the tweets. His, yeah. He had some, like a decade ago, they were pretty bad. They were some pretty offensive tweets. Well, he killed a couple people. He did a couple rapings, <laughs> but he never hurt anyone. Was it a, <laughs> was it a decade ago? I think they were, were like, I think uh, it was yeah. around the time of like yeah. Slither. They were like yeah. pedophilic. Yeah, they were pretty bad. Tweets. They were pretty bad. They but, also, some, but they were purely they were comedy. Jokes. They yeah, were I purely think, jokes. Yeah, they also, Michael Ian Black got caught up into it too. He also said some terrible shit, but Michael Ian Black's were more specifically jokes. They were like, oh, you're mm. doing a joke. You're saying some terrible shit, uh, but uh, yeah. So I There's, think yeah. James Gunn's tweets kind of bordered the, because there was there's Roseanne Barr. <laughs> Uh, and I then, thought the bitch was white. Did and you see then that? <laughs> there's Michael Ian Black, and I think somewhere towards Michael Ian Black yeah. is James Gunn. Not it's all different. Like, past the point of I am a big it's all different. like. I don't think that depending on what the charge is mm-hmm. for what you did in the past, I don't think that things like a tweet, unless it's like outwardly saying, mm-hmm. yeah, boom, 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 whatever, 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 yeah. like. If you show growth, I think that's the most important in, in people, mm-hmm. and that doesn't seem to matter anymore. There's like, a lot you make of a mistake, area. or you made a mistake however long ago, and hey, you're a piece of shit, and you don't deserve anything. No matter mm-hmm. what you've given to the world, you're a piece of shit for saying a couple things that are jokes. And mm-hmm. also, it's like... And it's comedy. I, motherfucking world, separate comedy from uh, an actual piece of shit. Yeah. I think... How hard to, is that? In no life, be. we need to know the difference. Of t- is someone saying something as a joke, or say, if someone's saying those things to mean it, then absolutely absolutely erase them from and life. And you can tell the yeah. difference. Yeah. And well, some people allowed, can. But, but people it was are allowed like, to be fucking offended. It's cool to be offended. I agree. By. Fine. But also, someone should not be like removed from their job or fucking have a, a legitimate consequence for a joke. I think if well, they, it was meant to be a joke, there is a be offended, lot, but don't fucking... Like, there's a lot of gray area with, with this whole conversation because like... You, for James Gunn, James Gunn, for instance, you look back. That's how many years ago was I it? I think it might have been 08. I think it might have been. Wow. If it was 08, oh fucking eight. You would it's probably be world. able to. If you're looking that far into his tweets, you'd probably be, probably be able to see that nothing like that has happened since then. Mm-hmm. So mm. look at the growth, and it's different per person. If someone, yeah. if he was like tweeting shit, you know, a year ago, then you could probably uh, he's probably still and, the same. And things have fucking changed so since, and dude. The <laughs> shit I said in 08 and probably <laughs> oh, tweeted absolutely. in 08, dude. Uh, absolutely uh, same. It was a different world. There were th- things were so much yeah. more accepted. That's why now. I'm sort of over fucking anything now. Yeah, it this, was actually like a alt right like a uh, troll person, wasn't that got James Gunn caught up? Like mm-hmm. the one that, and he has even worse tweets of actually saying, really? yeah, and that, and he's the one that sent them to. So he had some bad shit that happened to him in order to get. I heard that he got back at him because of that. What right. I'm so curious about is how can they treat James Gunn like that and then just let John Lasseter leave on his own accord basically <laughs> or the guy running the country the commander-in-chief who started yeah what yeah, the yeah. fuck he's man he's admitted it himself wow so, he's yeah. invincible yeah this um, is the world we live truly, in yeah it's truly like one of those things where like if i were to go back and well my twitter is fairly new but like i don't know some sort of social media yeah. i'm sure that i said something that if i were to say today yeah oh done dude yeah, yeah absolutely yeah. i, I yeah. think a lot of people have and a lot of people that are good people who are yeah. generally the, comedic people as well there's the roseanne thing yeah. like uh, oh, idiot. She, uh idiot move idiot. idiot move but uh the new thing that came out about it that a lot of people might well, not know the Rose, the roseanne, roseanne she uh oh, the that she's actually yeah, a clone yeah, yeah. what did she, she say uh she said she said you look like a planet of the apes oh yeah, Muslim yeah, yeah brotherhood yeah. which is just not okay to say no no no, uh-huh. no, 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 no. but it recently came out a clip of her saying i thought the bitch was white so she didn't know she was saying the muslim brotherhood was all was also not bad but if she's talking about just the planet of the apes thing like you like it's less offensive to say that to a white also, person you also don't know if she's person. just lying yeah about, but she like, probably is also, but yeah, like move. She's, but, she's, she's she's black right uh the woman is black yeah she just so doesn't did you, look did like did you she say somebody black. who like yeah. you said a uh, something about somebody you didn't know what they looked like yeah and how would you know to make a, an appearance yeah. joke or insult yeah. towards someone you didn't know what I, they look like I made the joke that we need to get these baby boomers off of Twitter. Uh-huh. <laughs> and then there's baby. I, I, send them back to Facebook. If, if you were like, <laughs> okay, we're talking about what 10 years ago was inappropriate to say. Back in the 70s, they used to say what? Oh, Ever. Yeah. It was yeah. a better time. <laughs> <laughs> Going Truly. back and seeing, uh, what's his name? Eddie Murphy's stand up. Uh, oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. I've seen all his old shit. Uh, Him, Robin uh, Williams, uh, fucking. Uh, oh my God. God. Yeah. Awful yeah. Shit, dude. Dude. Yeah. It was amazing. Oh, it was so uh, funny. God. And because it's Fucking yeah. comedy guys. Yeah, I actually just oh, watched. Comedy, uh, comedy. Have you guys seen Blazing Saddles before? Dude, yeah. Blazing Saddles. I just watched that last night. Yeah, uh, and that's hilarious. And but they say some fucked that's up. That's Mel Brooks, right? Yeah, because that was Mel Brooks. Yeah. Nineteen seventy four. That came out. Nineteen seventy four was a time where people were like, "All right, we'll say some fucked up shit." Yeah. Also, the early two thousands, like all the scary movie movies. I was like, people are all doing. It. But now we're all in a time of 
Raise your hands. <laughs> Did you guys know in it's the bullshit, newest, man. not the new Predator that's coming out, but the Predators with Adrian Brody, they literally have a scene where a guy oh, yeah, yeah, tells yeah. the Predator, he's like, die, you space fat. And <gasps> no! then, just so you know, I didn't, I didn't say it, but they literally, he says that to the Predator in it. No way! The homosexual slur. F-A-G. Yeah. And the yeah. thing... See, shit's changed, let's, man. Uh, let's point out the elephant in the room. I said that word on a stream uh, about a month ago, and it was a mistake. Absolutely. Not because it was a stream, but because I I'll, always throughout life, using that word for me was like the same way as saying like idiot or stupid or like whatever, because that's just like how you grow up, right? It's just using that word as that. Um, and that carried on into my adulthood and joking, especially when you're with your closest friends, you just say things that you, you know, you wouldn't necessarily say to the public, you test or whatever. The water. Right. And so, um, that word came out and I had since apologized and truly these guys can vouch for me. And so can Jamie. I don't use that word anymore. Mm-hmm. And is joking. I truly don't. And because I learned and that's what it's about. You do something wrong. You're scolded for it. And then you, you change and you learn. And that's a thing. But what I was going to say is, uh, yeah. when it comes to like writing a script, I, I don't think that's, it's the same thing. Art if you're writing, different. if you're writing a script and but in that case, Quentin Tarantino. that word didn't need to be used for that. That's just he could have said you space piece of shit or like yeah, right. space yeah. asshole. It like, just was so weird. But like sometimes, I mean, if the character say. like is the type of character that would say that word, yeah, maybe it fits. I'm the opposite but, of you. Like I grew up. I don't know if you know. I didn't say a single curse word till I was twenty. Really? I remember that yeah. actually. <laughs> Till I was at source fed, never you never once. really cussed. Never, never once. Fed, yeah. I never said fuck shit, bitch. And now I say a lot. Well, of were shit. you scolded I, for it like a kid, like crazy? Like no. those are off. No, really? I just didn't want. My mom's a teacher. She's very. Uh, I I was like very. I made myself that way. Because like my mom's saying, a Catholic priest. Yeah. There's no structure at home because I had no structure at home. I put it all on myself. Until yeah. I was 21. After I turned 21, I said everything. I was like, Dude, and now I say, I'm think, like, can you? I have this joke that I do about like, who could say the N word? I'm like, if you didn't grow up saying the N word, you can't. Yeah. Unless you're me and I say it all the fucking time. Yeah. Now. Do you think you have a tough time finding a single path because you had no structure as a kid? Uh, No, I liked it that way. Yeah. My family yeah, was I very introverted. We all went to our own rooms. My sister went to her own room. My dad went Same. to his office. My mom did mm-hmm. her own thing. Same. I went to my own room. I had a fucking lock on my yeah. door. Like, and I would just, yeah. well, also because, like, in high school, I used to smoke weed in my fucking bedroom. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, I mom. Never did but you're probably never going to yeah, watch this. Room, no, I literally, I but, like, I had a lock on my door, but so did my sister. What's yeah. up? Oh, Jamie's fanning. He farted. <laughs> no, he's saying uh, we're getting close to the time. Oh, okay. Um, right after this, then we can. Did we talk enough about people oh, be like? Yeah. We, we can definitely totally, hit that. Yeah, oh yeah, y'all yeah, yeah, subscribe to people yeah. be like. It's my channel. Uh, after SourceFed ended, they canceled all of our channels. And uh, sons for, of bitches. <laughs> and for a year, uh, that channel just sat there. We realized back in January 2018, John was like, "Dude, we've gained over 20,000 subscribers since uh, we've ended." And Damn. I was like, "Holy snap! Uh, let me hit them up." Took them five months. Finally got a contract in June. We've been shooting it for the past couple weeks, trying to here and there, trying to make a show, and it's back. You're on an episode that comes out next week. It's on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Hell yeah! On YouTube.com. It was a very funny episode. Like. Yes, it was. It was fucking hilarious doing that. And I'll with just you. give you a little a little sneak peek. <laughs> One of the questions I was asked was um <laughs> was determine the race of who's talking. Guess my ethnicity. Guess my ethnicity. We have games oh, that we dude, play. It's so good. I love that. It's so it good. It was so fun. I won't tell Guess you all the twists about it, but... Guys, <laughs> let, let's do it right now, really quick. Someone talk. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, that's Will for sure. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Guess who's talking? Hey. It was fun. It was fun. Yeah. Well, uh, check cool. out People Be Like. Link in the description. An episode with me is coming out soon. There's already an episode on the channel. Thank you, Will, for joining us for Thank episode you, 49. Thanks, Glad to be Appreciate here. Oh, yeah, man. We need, you, we need you around more. Yeah, you back. guys are great people. Love being here. Come great back, set. Beautiful. Thanks, Thanks dog. Man. Yeah. Made it. <laughs> You're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. Thank so much. Thanks, Jamie, Jamie honey. Making sure we sound beautiful. Um, everyone, we have our P.O. box that you can send uh, us cool fan stuff. Whatever you whatever you guys want to send us, you can send us. It's going to be really cool because we'll open it and we'll let you guys know uh, when we open it. We need more um, shit. Check out all of our merch. We just had a brand new hoodie drop today. It's a short sleeve hoodie. Really cool design. Um, I believe since this is going up next week, it dropped last Wednesday. So if you, if you don't know, now you know. Um, follow us all on official, official SB7, SB7 on Instagram and Twitter. And, and Facebook, actually, but it's the Sugar Pine 7 on Facebook. It's not huge or anything, but we upload uh, old videos on there, too. Yeah. So if you want to go watch videos, well. that's another place mm-hmm. for fun. Cool. Yeah. And keep on Your keeping on. Thank you, guys. Today. Oh, my God. Uh, I was really going through a rough time this last winter. I was going through a very bad breakup, very unexpectedly and stuff. And... <clears throat> I'm not gonna get emotional. Did you get cheated on? No, I didn't get cheated on. It was just just this weird thing where 
it was a very good relationship and then the parents of the girlfriend came in and there was this big weird like religious really situation oh, yeah I'm yeah so, no it was 